For yeah. some reason, it is. The most prominent venture capitalists have hundreds of thousands of followers yeah. on Twitter, some even a million plus. Yeah. And it's just interesting, you know, the LA creator scene, much more TikTok or IG mm -hmm. friendly. But for venture capital, yeah. Twitter is the place, which is so interesting to just acknowledge. And that's why it's important as an entrepreneur, you constantly have to be learning where the puck is going yeah. and skate towards that. Yeah. It's 2024. You can't raise capital like you did in 2005. It's a different world out there, and you got to constantly be changing. Have you noticed any other ways you've changed uh, leading your business versus when you were at Accenture Consulting Companies? Um, yes. Honestly, and it's not even like something that's like rocket science. Uh, I think it's just developing relationships with your team, right? I thought that yep. Accenture, everybody's like, go-getters, hungry, um, and I thought that, okay, I have money, now it's not gonna be a problem, right? And I was like, well, I'm paying you, like, obviously I like you, you're here, I'm paying you, like, yep. but I didn't know that developing that relationship just like a teacher-student was yes. so key, right, for your team to see the vision. And it's so true what Brian Chesky says about Airbnb, that as a CEO, that's that's your job. It's really like ruling the vision over and over. Being repetitive about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because this team, problem, yeah, everybody. You, you, in your head, in my head, we think we're being clear. We think that we've made something clear, but it's proven statistically. It t sometimes takes over ten times to hear a comment to actually interpret it the right way. And so, I think for any leaders out there, being extremely repetitive. Yeah. And again, that's somewhere where the social media helps as well. Mm -hmm. You're not only being repetitive, you're putting your thoughts into written word. Exactly. It's very easy for your team to know where you stand. And so yeah. I love what you're talking about in terms of building the relationship, investing in your people. You know, right now you said that you have about 60% of your workforce in Peru. How do you see the global vision for your brand? It sounds like you're in over 20 countries. 28. Like, yeah, 28, wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Shout out you. What do you think for the global vision of your brand, where do you see yourself going next? I think we're gonna be able to go to all emerging markets because US And what's defined as an emerging market? So In your eyes, of course, yeah. I mean, I think it's a nice way to say a third world country, yeah. right? And I can say it because I'm from Peru. So uh, yeah, like you know, like not a superpower economy. Yeah. Um, and the US is suffering with bilingual education, right? Absolutely. And that's where I think like we got a product market fit because they keep suffering by about like not having enough bilingual teachers, right? It's a huge shortage right now. Um, and and there's so many immigrants who need our support. Exactly. And they don't, I mean, I just cannot imagine going to a country, right? Mm -hmm. Not speaking the language, just being in a tunnel, right? In school and just not understanding anybody or anything, right? And that keeps happening. So now we're like, do you have Ukrainian tutors? Do you have yes. Russian tutors? Do you have like uh, Filipino? Like it keeps growing. So we keep like getting other tutors too that they see our ads on LinkedIn, they find that. So there's need on both sides of the marketplace, right? They, there's need here and there's a need for really smart people in emerging markets. I think that that's one of the reasons uh, why I studied papaya as well. I remember my tutor, right, who I thought was a genius. And yeah. like the most- And to you they were, because they made the difference in your life. Well, and not only a genius, but also emotionally smart. Yep. Like and he they never, have the heart, Exactly, yeah. he never made me feel dumb. Where the tutoring at college, um, the guy didn't know that English was my second language, so he was like questioning, right, like my intelligence. And that's what happens to people who, like first language is not English, right? So. I remember like my tutor just being comfortable and like uh, being transparent about like not understanding a topic. And that man never got like annoyed. Uh, I know I would have been, I'm like, it's the A time, come on, like get it together, you know? Uh, but no, he was like so patient. Like, I mean, it takes vocation. I think it, it it's a skill that I don't have that I admire, right? From educators overall, right? Like not just tutors. So. Um, I remember like getting my job at Accenture and I'm like, wow, like I'm getting this like crazy opportunity. It's right? an incredible company, great brand. And I was like the only hire from my school that year because yeah. they didn't hire from UCF yet. So, um, but I remember thinking like, what about my tutor? Like what, like how come I like get this opportunity and my tutor doesn't? Like, and yeah. I felt like that, that side of privilege 
that was benefiting me. And like, I felt like that's the first time I felt like life is not fair. I was like, no, yeah, this is so sad. Yeah, we, uh-huh. we, and so we got to do our part. I think one question I definitely want to ask is, you came here at 17, so did you go to high school in Florida? No, Plus? no, thank God. Wow, okay, so you came for university. I actually tried to get into high school because I knew I was like going to get a like a scholarship or something. But now that I know more, and no. Oh, so you did all, no, no, there's no, like, let's dive in. So you did all your pre-college in Peru. I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, cool. So keep going before I cut you off. No, no, no it's okay. Um, so um, I was just thinking like about my tutor and just feeling like I wanted to do something. But I didn't know what it was yet. I just was like, I wanted to do something. Like, I was like, this is not okay, right? Like, and just like my tutor, there's so many, like, smart people all over the world that will never get the chance, right? Mm -hmm. So, and not only they don't get the chance, it's there's lack of job opportunities in their country. So I do see us going everywhere, even building, like, a workforce globally, right? Because our tutors are usually engineering students. That's how we started. So workforce globally that companies from the U.S. can in, in other like you know superpower uh, economies can hire from right so I believe now that the American dream can be achieved from your country so if that's you like that so one. that's so beautiful I love the passion you have and you know the one thing we do always love to be able to bring full circle especially when you came back to LA but no full circle to your high school version yourself and that's usually how we love to be able to speak to our fans and listeners if there was one thing you could tell your 16, 17-year-old self today, mm-hmm. what would it be and why? And how do you speak to that student today? Oh, God. Um, keep believing in yourself because I know that no matter what, I always believed in myself. I, I would say, like, keep believing in yourself um, and everything's going to be okay, right? Like, keep believing in yourself, keep working hard, and keep having that heart that you have, right? Because... I always wanted to like do something that can affect or impact people in a good way for for the better. Um, so I would say that um, just keep like following your heart because that's another reason why I came here, right? Like I was like, I just feel like I have to go, like you know, I have to do this on my own. Like so, I always follow my heart. So I would say like keep following your heart, right? Like it will tell you the truth and it will guide you the right way. Yes, make sure you maintain your confidence because. If you don't maintain your confidence, it's hard for other people to give it to you. And so be confident, believe in yourself, positive words of affirmation, yeah. be kind to yourself, be a good person to yourself. Yeah. Because so many people forget about those qualities. And so I really appreciate everything you've been able to share with us today. And can we put a shameless plug for your company right now? Where do we find you? Papayatutor.com. Make sure you go check it out today. Papayatutor.com. We are so thankful you came on the show today. We are so excited to have you as a return guest shortly. And again, follow us on Spotify and YouTube on the subject. I'm your host, Michael Villardo. Click like, click subscribe below so we can have more incredible entrepreneurs and leaders in industry on our show soon. Thank you so much for being on the show today, Sandra.